So like the title says, we're gonna jump into recording voiceover work in DaVinci Resolve. Now this is very useful if you already edited a piece and you're just talking someone through or you need to do a couple of pickups where you need to give a little more context on what's going on in the video, you know, once you're done with the edit. So we can go in and we can record these at any point in time, but I was just thinking, you know, after you're done with the edit, you could then do it. Each project that you're working on needs to have a dedicated spot for these recordings. Now there is a default location that it's going to store and it's based off of another setting in DaVinci Resolve, but I would just wanna show you the setting where you can pick where each project is going to store the files of the voiceover stuff. So let's just jump over to DaVinci Resolve. If we come down here to the little gear, this is going to be where all of our project settings are. You can't actually see that. So let me pop me over right down here where this the little gear, we'll click on that. And then from here, this should open up here in the master settings, but we can come down here to the capture and playback. From here, if we scroll down a little bit, we have this save clips. And that's going to be the location in which your uh, voiceover stuff is going to be recorded. So once we're done with that, because of the nature of this project, I just need to add in a little bit of footage here. And this is my edit. It's just a bunch of ice cream stuff. And you'll see why here in a second, because I just, I honestly just went into my uh, freezer and grabbed a box, which had a little bit of marketing so I'm just going to read that for this uh, demonstration. Your project might have a bunch of audio already in there, but we can go in and we can create another uh, track just for the recording. So um, for now, I'm just going to add in just some music. So we have just other stuff going on in here. All right, so I'll just grab a song. We'll drop it in there. Let's say that that's all of my audio. We'll go over into Fairlight because Fairlight's where we're going to be doing this and this isn't set up how it is by default. All right, so now we should see here, if we have these like little pop-ups, we can open these up the meters if we want to see all of this down here and then, or excuse me, the meters on the top and then the mixer on the bottom. Okay, so from here, we first want to add in a track for the voiceover work. So I'm just going to right click, add track, and I'm gonna do a mono track because obviously I only have one mic, so it's going to be mono. And then uh, whichever track that that is, if you want to, you can just double click in here and I can just put VO for voiceover, sure. Then I know that, you know, that's the voiceover track. If we click here, whichever one that we have clicked, we can see that that's the one that's highlighting over here. From here, we now need to map this microphone to go to this particular track. So uh, in the inputs, I'm gonna click here and click input. It's gonna open up our patch and it's currently already highlighted where the destination's gonna go. And we just need to say which uh, mic source do we want. So I'm using the Scarlett's uh, system with this mic. If you're interested in this mic setup the, in the description, I have, um, uh, links to that stuff but uh, so I'll just click on my mic and then click patch so this is highlighted here this is highlighted here those two are good that going to be uh, patched together we click patch and now we should see it over here I'm just gonna grab my headphone so I can follow along and hear the same thing that you guys are hearing okay so now I have my audio into my headphones that means that you guys can hear it so from now what I need to do is when I go to arm this, wait, what happened here? Oh, because I changed one of those settings. I just going to repatch and now it's patched in. So now it says the microphone is there. And now if I, I arm, arm this, this I, can I can hear this. this. So for now, I'm just going to mute the DaVinci Resolve. And the reason being is because if we were to uh, be listening to this, so like, let's say you have your own headphones you're going to hear that feedback that I was just hearing, right? So it's a little delayed depending on what equipment you have for a, a sound card and stuff like that. If you're using higher end equipment, that delay is significantly less, sometimes not even noticeable. But for most systems, that is going to be a little noticeable. So you might wanna mute that if you are the one that's doing the voiceover work. There's a whole nother uh, thing. Actually, I can just talk about that now. Uh, there's a whole nother way that you can also record using this ADR that has a plethora of different tools and I can't really go into it here, but I just wanna say that I do have a whole course going over that. And if you were interested, especially if you're using Fairlight or you wanna know the ADR tools, cause there are some very specific things that are in there 
for uh, instructing your talent to be able to read whatever the dialogue is that they have to then follow along and it gives cues and there's a, there's a whole plethora of stuff that, but we're back to just doing the voiceover stuff. So my project's already set up. We can see that we, our meters are alive and anything that I'm saying into the mic, we can now see it in DaVinci Resolve. So that is good. And now we can start to record. So all we would do now is just hit the record button. And as we start to record, we can now see it there, uh, you know, writing in. And every time that we go and stop, what we can see is that now created a file, right, right here. So like I was saying with the location of that, if we were to right click here and we go open in file, where did that go? It's over here. We can now see that that file is right there. Um, and if you picked a different location, they're obviously store in the location that you desired. So now we're going to go into doing this voiceover. I don't know if I'm gonna do this whole thing, but we'll just kind of roll with it. Cause I wanna show you a couple of different things uh, while you're recording, if you mess up uh, and not to remove anything. Uh, we'll just go through. Uh, at Turkey Hill, we make family moments. Let's try that again. At Turkey Hill, we make family moments more delicious. We use quality ingredients and premium ice cream in our novelties. Because life like ice cream should be enjoyed sweet. All right, now I kind of messed up that last one. So I'll just go from here. Because life like ice cream should be enjoyed and sweet. Meet us at Turkey Hill. Life is delicious here. Okay, so now that I have that all, uh, pretty much done, you can tell that I was just writing over, right? Consistently just writing over. And I wanna show you how that is a very good thing to do depending on if we have multiple takes, maybe we like part of one and didn't like the other, instead of deleting it all, we can go back and reuse all those elements. Even though it looks like we wrote over it, we actually didn't. So let me show you here. I'm going to just uh, unarm my track. We'll close that for now and we will go into audio track layers because these were actually all saved as different layers. So how audio layers work is whichever is the highest layer is the one that's currently going to be playing. Um, and so if we were to uh, start playing this at Turkey Hill. Okay, my mic was super loud, but I will just uh, mute this and bring this down. Actually, I'll just use dim and we will mute this. So we make family moments more delicious. We use quality ingredients and premium ice cream in our novelties. Because life like ice cream, it should be in. Okay, so all it can do is just back this up and we can see that we didn't hear any of this because this one was up here. So then we would be able to maybe match these up. That looks good. Then holding shift to make sure everything is aligned. That's looking great. So our novelties because life like ice cream is now my mic was super hot so because life and you can see whenever i put a fade up here it's fading this uh element as well because it's actually going to have one just fade into the other and that's how layers work that's pretty cool the other thing that i just wanted to show you here is if i was to come in and use the select tool and let's say i took these out i made a little cut out here and then unselected everything I'm just going to mute this because this audio is actually kind of horrible. But uh, while this is playing, it's playing this one. And then we can see it's playing that one, jumping back up to here. And then obviously when this one comes up, then it starts to play that one. So because I was sitting here listening to this and I seen that it was riding all the way up, I could have pulled back my mic a little bit, but I just wanted to show you how all of this works. And I don't know why my mic is so loud. It must be a window setting, um, but we could easily just come into patch settings and we'd be able to bring that back just a little bit like that. So then our recording level is significantly lower and this would probably sound a bit better. So if I actually, let's just come back and, and re-record it, um, maybe make this <laughs> all this sound a bit better. At Turkey Hill, we make family moments more delicious. We use quality ingredients and premium ice cream in our novelties because life like ice cream should be enjoyed and sweet. Meet us at Turkey Hill. Life is delicious here. 
So if I then stop, and we can see that that is probably going to sound way better. Family moments more delicious. We use quality ingredients. There you go, that's how we would do that. If we needed to edit anything, we could easily just come in, uh, edit something, and we're, we're never losing any time that we do any edits. We're never losing anything. Let me just unselect that. Uh, because if I, I grab the end here, we can see that we still have that whole thing that we can work with, but we previously just cut it out just a little bit, right? So all of these still retain all of the recording that we had. We're just cutting out little segments and having this layered makes it super easy. So now we have all of these layers. How does this look on the edit page? So let's quickly go in and we can turn off the show waveform. And so now if we come back over to here, we can see that it just looks like, okay, let me go back because, and, and just remove that top. We'll just move this top one over, right? So we have all of the cut up. And if we come back over here, it just looks like one waveform that's here. Now, if you do, do want to edit something on the edit page, you can go into view, then show it. And then we can see it here. Obviously you need to make this a bit bigger so we can actually see the waveform in here. But yeah, so you can work on both, but you would go over to the Fairlight page to arm the track and then do all of the recordings. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything on doing voiceover work. Now you do have the full set of tools in Fairlight to make your audio a bit better if you ever needed to. I just wanna quickly show you guys that again, if you uh, were mistaken, why my mic was so hot here and being able to pull that down. My mic is currently patched in here so we can look right up here and we go into patch settings and then we have the option of pulling the record level down a little bit so that it, when it comes in for the recording, it will be a bit lower. So that's how I pulled up this uh, patch settings panel. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, the ADR stuff, it's pretty in depth on how that works. You can actually pull in the whole script and have the script showing on screen. Whoever is doing the ADR can just uh, read off of the screen and they'll get visual cues for when it's time to say those lines. Uh, that is a bit more in depth and I would highly recommend taking a look at the course that I have going over everything in Fairlight and that was one of the subjects that we go over there. So with that being said, hopefully you guys found this informational and you learned something, but I'm out of here. My name's JR. Thank you so much for watching. Till the next one. Peace.